hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we have a lot of work to do this is yard work motivation i'm going to show you my garden the yard all the things let's get to work okay you guys this is my zucchini plant and check out all of the zucchini so we have several different zucchini plants we have this one my yellow crooked um, squash you guys can see she's growing right there have a little bit of these weeds that I do need to pick up so we need to get these weeds picked up but look at that yellow crooked neck squash growing good if we come over here look at that you guys another squash and more okay and then over here we've got my tomato plants I do need to get them up there's some that are kind of drooping so I need to get these up and then I need to pick some of these weeds down here but as you guys can see check out my little tomatoes this one's growing quite well we have lots of tomatoes on this one clipping a little bit we need to clip them to take the weight off the branches nothing should be kind of be falling you don't want that it's not good for your tomato plants so. these big stringers these would technically be stringers I guess these would be running out to like like grow like a vine vine wood you know like a nightshade wood but you don't need them you don't so need all that extra weight no nope. because and this helps tomatoes grow we're gonna be doing that with all our tomatoes so we can have nice healthy tomato plants it's getting hot out there but we need to mow the front lawn so I have a, a lawnmower that I wanted to share with you guys it was sent to us to review and we've I've had it for a while because you know I just want to make sure that it's good or not and it's electric lawnmower so let's get out in the front and let's uh, mow the lawn and I'll share with you guys the the lawnmower okay. Check the battery, full, set them in here in the groove, punch them in, right there, and here. close the saddle from one, all the way to six, we do two, nice yeah. thing, for all your stuff, mm-hmm, it's, it's a really sleek well looking mower. It is, like it it's is nice. Really, it's very lightweight. I would call it pretty. And this thing here. But this thing here, if it flips up, that means you're still bringing in grass. As soon as it plugs, it drops. Oh, that's a, okay. That's a good. All right, you guys. And it folds down, so like yeah. like this, and you can fold it up. Oh, that's perfect. Like you can take this off. This is where I, this is how I store it normally. Like that. Oh yeah, that's perfect, you guys. And you can just put it in the shed or whatever, you know. Like it's a little bulkier than my other one, but it's really good. So Easy far, to put back together. Easy to put back together. Put it back Boom, on. Yeah. I like to do this. Oop. Turn with those clips. Those clips are always popping off. That's the only thing. The clips are always popping. That. Pull that up. Right there. Get my clip back on there. I don't know where the other one went. There used to be two clips. I think Guinness dropped one. Mm -hmm. Lost one somewhere. But for 13 year old kid having to push up the hill like that yeah he can even do it it's very light you know it's just not hard to use not hard to move it's only got a 17 inch cut so if you got a small yard it's good the uh you know the battery life 
isn't as long as my other one because it, my other one does like two stages of cutting. Like if it's light, it won't run as fast, but then if it gets hard, it runs harder. This one just runs hard all the time. It's, it's just got this handle. If you pull this, it doesn't start. You have to push the safety button right there. It's easy to push. You just push it with your thumb. the yard and you know the batteries are 22 by 20 so it's 40 volts and they're four milliamp hour batteries um, my other one has five milliamp hour batteries but it's this cuts just to, probably honestly it cuts better I like the blade on this one the blades better than the other one my other one because this my blade on the other one's got like a short little cut thing this one cuts like this wide so it's got a better cutting area on the blade but it's a narrower cut but it works really good it pushes it all the way to the back there's no Stuck digging in, in there yeah you definitely can't see so but like dark, see but... it pushes it all to the back you don't have to go digging in so you can see right there it's clean you don't have to go digging in there and dragging out the rest of the grass it's it sucks it right up in there so now we can easily dump it out so as you guys can see that lawnmower is amazing it's lightweight you can store it really easy so if you have storage problems where you don't you know you don't have a lot of storage that lawnmower is really awesome my son loves it it's very easy and lightweight for him and it's all electric and it, it works really great so i'll leave that information down in the description box below i need to do this front porch so let me show you what i got for the front porch and uh let's kind of make the front porch pretty so this is the hello sign that I got at Marshall's. I think it was like $14.99. So I think I'm going to put that there because it looks really cute. And then I did a DIY a long time ago making this. I really love it because my daughter, the one that's 17, she loves to draw. And so each season we will have her draw something cute. So she'll have like pumpkins or she'll have you know Halloween anything 4th of July but she did this by hand with chalk paint oh my gosh we're not chalk paint but the uh, chalk markers those are really really good I love how she made it kind of like a little flower shop and says welcome it kind of goes in with my hello and then I just picked up recently this I love this wreath and I think it looks really pretty against the the doormat so this was at TJ Maxx for $13 so they're clearancing a lot of their stuff but I think it looks really good together so I'm gonna hang that up and I think that's all I'm gonna do for now I wanted to get some flowers over here but I haven't had the chance to go to Lowe's but so far I think that looks pretty cute Okay, just put that up. Let's stay home. That comes from Dollar General. So I think that's super cute. I think it looks really cute. I have my bench over here that I need to repaint. But this is one of my favorite signs, the porch bucket list. Read a book, watch the sunset, visit with friends, enjoy life, and make memories. I got that a long time ago at Hobby Lobby. Okay, you guys, so these are my candy corn mums. These are so pretty. They're coming back. So what they do, they'll look like basically a candy corn. They have orange and yellow and red, and it looks so pretty. They are 
they're thriving right now. So I bought these a little while back from the Dollar Tree, so I figured I'd go ahead and put the little miracle grow in them just to kind of help a little bit so i have this this comes from amazon which i really love but i have this one and then over here i have another one though this one is not doing as well like it's starting to but it's not growing as lush as the other one but i got these at lowe's uh last year but i'm kind of excited that they're they're coming back and hopefully in the fall they'll look beautiful. I'm gonna take you out and back again. There's still more things to do, but I have a little, I have some grapes in the back, kind of a, like a little mini vineyard, if you will. They are wine grapes. So I have Guisameter and Rizzling. And um, yeah, I just wanna share with you what they look like. I'm excited. I love. You guys I love to grow food especially grapes it, it's just it's fun when you work so hard you put in that you know blood sweat tears and then you go out there and you're like oh my gosh I I grew food like how fun is that so I just wanted to share with you what they look like so let's go back out in the crap the uh, the backyard okay you guys so we are in the backyard again the kids are still swimming so I wanted to share with you look how oh my gosh can you guys see all of my grapes growing I have so many of them there's some right there I'm gonna have so we're gonna have a lot lots of wine Oh my gosh, I am so excited. And then over here in this corner, I have a whole bunch, as you guys can see, growing. There's gonna be so many grapes. So I probably need to come back and kind of make this a little bit better. I feel like it's a little messy, but she's, she's producing a lot of grapes. What a day, you guys, what a day. I might have went swimming a little bit, just grabbed a different ball cap. So we're gonna make dinner, and this is the best thing I love about having grown, homegrown vegetables and fruit is tonight, we have everything here. So we're gonna do these zucchinis. These are, this is what I got out of the garden today. So we're gonna slice these up saute it with some butter and then we have a tri-tip that we're gonna go ahead and cook on the grill kids are still out in the pool i swear my kids are they love the pool they get so tired but they eat a lot because they are in that pool the whole summer which is good for me because it wears the kids out and my two little ones don't kind of bicker very much because if you guys know i mean kids Sometimes they don't get along. My two oldest, obviously, you know, 18, well, 17, she's almost 18, and then my 19-year-old, they're easy. My 13-year-old, pretty easy as well, but then when you throw the nine-year-old in the mix, kind of gets a little crazy. Nine-year-old kind of pesters the 13-year-old, and then you got bickering. So when they're out in the pool, it's it's just nice, and it's just, they're so tired and they they bond more. So they're out in the pool, but we're gonna go ahead and make the tri-tip and our zucchini for dinner, you guys. So I'm excited, homegrown vegetables. It's just the best. All right, you guys, homegrown vegetables, sauteed in butter and some seasoning. It doesn't get any better than this. All right, guys, I just wanted to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and helping me have motivation to get the things I needed to get done today. I'm gonna go take a shower, relax, maybe have a glass of wine. I think I think I deserve it. It worked hard. Maybe, I don't know, maybe a margarita. We'll see. But uh, it was really fun to hang out with you guys today. And uh, now it's time to relax. So take a maybe a bath a nice warm bath and um, spend some time with my family watch TV and rest and start all over again thanks guys bye